Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you more than 10 of my absolute favorite mods. There will be a link in the description leading you to a list of all of the mods that I'm talking about in this video. So first of all, I have a few food related mods that I want to show you. The first one is industrial cookies and this one basically gives you a variety of cookies that you can get in build by mode they are in the decoration section under clutter i only have a few in my game there's also a few more that i did not install but basically what this lets you do is you can click on them and then you can buy a cookie so one cookie is one simoleon you already paid for the cookies when you bought them in build by mode but one simoleon is very cheap in the sims so i'm going to have her buy one after you buy it it will be in your sims inventory and then you can eat it you can also pack it into a sack lunch if you want to take it somewhere like if you're going out for the day or having a picnic but i'm going to have her eat it And I think that's such a cute snack to have for your sims and depending on what the package is of course there will also be different cookies that you are buying so for example these are oreos i really like this mod and you can also put a pack of cookies in your inventory it won't ever spoil so anytime you want to use it just drag it into live mode and then click on it and you can buy your sims some cookies then the next mod that I love so much is the functional yogurt maker by around the sims 4 once again. They make the best functional objects. I love their mod so much. So I'm going to click on it and have her make some yogurts. I think I'm just going to select the natural one. And I think they look so cute. If you want your sim to grab one, you can just click on eat. And you can also put these in the fridge just like any other food, which I think is great. This mod is super cute and I also like having some more snacks that my sims can eat because I don't always want to cook a whole meal for them if they're just a bit hungry. So I think this one is perfect. These usually last for around 10 hours once you serve them and you can also like I said put them in the fridge so that they won't spoil. And then the last two food related mods are these two functional wine bottles. They are again by around the sims 4. If your sims are having a party and you have a lot of guests it will be so much easier and quicker to just click on one of these bottles and serve it. So this one is a Bordeaux. And then this one is a Riesling and you can click on them and click pouring glasses. So I'm going to do that. And here we go. So every time you serve it, you get six glasses of wine. So this one is really perfect for parties in my opinion. And then of course you can also do the same thing with the Riesling. So I'm going to have her pour some into glasses. And this is what it looks like. But yes, I really like this mod. I think it's perfect for, like I said, big parties or get-togethers. Much less time consuming than making all of the drinks yourself. As always, I also love that the bottles are in Simlish, so that is always a plus. And you may have noticed that it's very quiet here, so there's not really any neighbors making noise. That is because of the No Noisy Neighbors mod that I have, and this one is by the N. Martin, and I think it is so essential for me at least, because I often have my sims live in apartments, and I really dislike when it's always loud and my sims can't sleep and are just always angry because of the noise. So this one removes that and basically prevents all your sims neighbors from never making any any noise. If you're also someone that gets bothered by that, I highly recommend this mod. So, but since today is actually date night, I want my sims to get ready. And the first thing that Maurice needs to do is take a shower, which leads me to another mod that I often get asked about. And this is the towel after shower mod. This one is by Scanner. As the name already gives it away, it basically makes it so that once your sims are done taking a shower, they will change into a towel instead of into their regular clothes, which I think is so much more realistic. 
classic and I really love this mod because of that reason. It also fits in perfectly for when I want my sims to have a little self care night and do their skincare after they're done taking a shower. So as you can see, he just got done with the shower and he's wearing a towel. I just think it looks so much better than if he was just changing back into his previous clothes. But I actually want a mirror to freshen up a bit so that I can also show you a few more mods. And the first one is the Functional Blow Dryer and Lotion by Sepsid. You will be required to have the bathroom clutter kit in order for this to work. So I'm going to start with the blow dryer and I'm going to have her use it. And this is what it looks like and I think it looks so amazing. Even the animation looks so good. You also get a moodlet from it saying stylish new hair. There is nothing that a new hairstyle can't help. And then for the lotion, I know she's already wearing makeup so technically she would have used it before. But just to showcase it, once you have the lotion out, you can click on use. As you can see, she is now using the lotion. I'm so happy that I finally have a mod like this because I've wanted my sims to be able to moisturize for so long. So I'm so happy with this mod and it's so perfect because I really like to create night routines for my sims and these two mods fit in perfectly. And you once again get a buff from it. So it says fresh clean scent. Lemony fresh lemon scent is in the air. It cleanses it and creates a sense of harmony and inner spiritualization. The next two mods I have are also perfect for self care for your sims and also to add more realism. These are again by Sepsin. They make the best functional objects in my opinion, so definitely check them out. So this mod is called Functional Sunblock and Perfume Set. If you want the sunblock to work, you have to have the Seasons Expansion Pack installed. And for the perfume set, there is a version if you don't have high school years. But if you have high school years, then you will also have the Use Hairspray option. So firstly, I'm going to have a use some sunburn protection. We again got a buff from it, this time it's saying protected from the sun. And the reason why I like this one so much is, especially if your sim lives in a world that is usually quite hot, it's very realistic to apply sunburn protection before you go out. And I also like how it looks, but even if your sim wants to have a day at the beach, you obviously should apply your sunscreen before you go out. And I really like that now with this mod, I have the option to do so. Then for the perfume sets, you have a few different options. So firstly, you can use the hairspray, which would also fits in perfectly with the hair dryer that I showed you, but I'm going to have a use some hairspray. I'm so happy that now we also have the option to do it without being in front of the locker. Like in high school years, you also once again get a buff from it, which I love so much. So this time it says good hairstyle. Hairspray is best used when your style is ready to be locked down, which means it needs to be dry. But now she is going to spray some deodorants. And again, you get the buff from it, and it's basically saying that it will keep your underarm smelling fresh for 24 hours. Perfect. And then, if you click on it again, you have two more options. So firstly, you can spray the feminine perfume, and you can also spray the masculine cologne. So I'm going to have her spray the feminine perfume, and then I'm going to have Maurice spray his cologne. So I think they look so cute. I do also have another perfume mod that I've showed in one of my earlier mod reviews. If you're interested, I have a playlist on my channel. But this buff says smelling perfumes. Your perfume is sort of like your signature. If you wear the same one often, people will start to associate the scent with you. Okay, so now I'm just going to ever change her outfit. And in the meantime, I'm going to have Maurice go into the bathroom. But let's see. Uh -huh. 
so he also got a buff and it says smelling colognes so this buff basically says the exact same thing just with cologne instead of perfume i think we're going to head out and then i will show you a few more mods that i love so much so another mod that i'm so in love with and have been using for a few months now is a map replacement mod so this one is by Der Shayan, and I know that there are some other ones but this one is by far my absolute favorite one. I love the art style of it and how hand drawn it looks. I will also show you a few more worlds. So this is Willow Creek. I really think that the art style really suits the sims 4 at least in my opinion i just really like it when you go to download it you will have to download every map separately so you can just choose the ones that you want they are only updated until eco lifestyle so if you have any packs that have been released after eco lifestyle like snowy escape there is unfortunately not any map replacement at least not yet for these worlds i'm not sure if they will release a few more but as of now they only have up to eco lifestyle so i'm going to have them go on a date to a restaurant which will lead me into another favorite mod so this one is the main loading screen by l chris and i really love how neutral it is so this one is without my g-shade presets and then with my preset this is what it looks like so obviously it still looks a bit different but i really like how it looks i basically have not changed it ever since i installed it so now that we are here i'm going to have them request a table for them once they are seated I will be talking about my next mod and I also want to say that I will have the name and the creator of this restaurant on the screen if you'd like to download it. So they are now seated and it's looking so gorgeous here. So I'm going to have them chat a bit and the next mod that I want to talk about is the romance interactions mod by kiara sims 4 mods basically this mod in total has 17 different interactions you can pick and choose which ones you want to download for yourself i have about 13 of them i think so i don't have all of them but most of them at least so all of these will also give you buffs which i love so much it really helps with storytelling and i think it will also be so perfect for the growing together expansion pack so the ones that i have in my game are are asked to renew vows, a Morris hug, discuss future together, do you love me, do you like what you see, discuss relationship status, discuss meeting parents, discuss having a baby, saying I love you or I love looking at you, tell to leap into arms, you are my soulmate, you make me happy and you have my heart. And like I said, every single one of these has a buff that you get. So I'm going to have him tell her I love you. So let's see. That is so cute. So you can also get different responses. The one that we got this time is This is the love I have ever wanted and I hope we are forever. That is so sweet. Oh my goodness. I actually have not gotten this response yet. Most of the time I just get I love you too. Um, but this one is so sweet. So while they are waiting for their food, I'm going to also have him discuss um, having a baby together. Okay, um, I guess we'll have to wait until she's done ordering. But she seems very excited. Okay, so the response that he got is how about we woohoo and see what happens. So you also get a moodlet. Oh, and I forgot to read you the moodlet from him saying I love you. But the moodlet that he got from that is I love you. Three little words that mean so much and I hope they will leave me. That is so cute. And then they also both got the baby talk moodlet. This topic is important for both of us regardless of what we decide. Children should come into the world loved. I'm also going to have her talk to him a bit and I'm going to have her tell him you have my heart. I'm also going to say you are my soulmate. But first, um, the moodlet that he got from you have my heart is saying heartful compliments. It's so romantic when someone tells you that you have their hearts. I'm so in love. Oh, that is so sweet. 
So now she's going to tell him, you are my soulmate. So you actually get a pop-up from this. And it says, oh my, I love you so much. I am glad we are soulmates. We will be together forever. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So they just got home. It's already so late. But they had dinner and I'm going to have them come into the apartment. This one leads me into my next mod, which adds an animation to your sims taking off their shoes. So for this one, the snowy escape expansion pack is required so you can have this small sign. That, by the way, I size down a lot so it's not like right in your face. You can basically set if you want your sims to remove their shoes indoors or wear slippers or just keep their shoes on but I have them set to removing them so you will see that once my sims come in they will basically take off their shoes and I think it looks so much better than how it looks without this mod and it looks so much more realistic. I think I forgot to mention it but this one is also by Zepsid. My last two mods are both aspirations. So the first one is under the love section and it's called living life. Maybe you don't want to just find love or just make money. You want to see what life truly has to offer, experience everything and have fun doing it. And the reward trade that you get from it is long lived, a mirror has done it, now enjoy the reward. And the first milestone is starting out, find a job, make some new friends, make a best friend and go on a date. The second one is called settling in, learn to cook, go to a festival, earn a stable income and have the amazing dates. The third one is called settling down, throw a holiday party, have a boyfriend or girlfriend, get engaged and make time for you. And then the last one is called living life, get married, start a family, have a healthy savings account, retire and enjoy life. So the reason why I like this one so much is because it basically covers everything that I normally have my sims do. So if there's not any aspiration that truly fits my sim and the plans that I have for them, then I most of the time just select this one. My new favorite one is the housewife aspiration and as someone who's a homemaker I really appreciate having more aspirations kind of like this. So it says some sims strive for degrees and others strive for tradition. Being a housewife is a passage to not only taking care of yourself but the ones around you. This aspiration will help you get there. Level up your household duties, fall in love with your closest friend and start the family you've jumped on. Of. And the reward trait that you get is housewife role model. You're the talk of the housewives in your area. You know what it takes to sustain a home and the perfect marriage. Your loyalty and well-balanced life are what other housewives strive to accomplish. You're a role model, not only to your household but to others around you. The first milestone is create life and you have to reach level 2 of the cooking, handiness, logic and gardening skill. The second milestone is called prep for duties. Go on two dates, make a best friend, have a boyfriend or girlfriend. The third one is called the dating phase. Be married to best friend, become a parent. And then the last one is called the ultimate housewife. Clean dishes three times, help a child with homework three times and cook a gourmet meal. And I think this one is so perfect for my current sim, so I definitely think that I'll be using this one for my Growing Together Let's Play. And I'm so excited and I think that it will be so perfect for lots of simmers to use for the sims. So I really wanted to include this one in this video. Again, the link is in the description to the list of the mods. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.